Middle of February, coolest month of the year. We're building snow bikes. Beautiful winter weather. I'm in the shop at a very special shop because with me I've got Rob Lang from Lang's Off Road. There's the man. So what we're doing is we're changing the springs in my snow bike shocks so that it works a lot better when we go snow biking. So let's see what's going on. All right, so we're using an old pair of shocks here. Rob, what are we doing? Okay, we're gonna just swap out the springs, take out basically your stock springs uh, that were set up for your weight for off-road. And we're gonna put the snow bike springs in which are much, much stronger and heavier, which you need for snow biking. Right. Uh, so we're just going to do a simple uh, spring swap on these. So I've already loosened the cap on this. What we're going to do is slide it up. Another good tip, too, while he's doing this is that, you know, um, you may want to get your oil, your fluids checked in your shocks too, right? I mean, they can break down, wear down, and especially with snow biking, not a lot of people realize this, but if suspension can get quite hot as it's working aggressively off-road, and then it super cools real fast, right? Because you're out there in minus 10, minus 20, and that can create condensation, get water in the oil, so it can break down a lot easier. So you want to make sure, guys like Rob are checking that stuff out. Which is exactly the case. Is it? Yeah. Okay, so you can see... If you want to get in there, you can see the slime and you can see the rust on the spring and that the oil is is kind of milky. Yeah. So it has gotten contaminated with water. Um, so so get that sorted out. It's classic. I just called him up and said, hey, you know what? We're just changing the springs. No, looks like we're doing oil too. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't attempt to do this at home because every time I see Rob do it, He's got a special jig for the suspension so he doesn't damage the tubes. He's got special tools for releasing parts. You know, like, it's a super size fancy wrench he's running there to take off the top of this cap. And honestly, I could just see someone out there trying to use vice grips or like a big set of channel locks or something. Not ideal. Not ideal. So, if you are going to attempt any type of your own suspension work, definitely have the right tools or see a professional. See, it's actually slimy. Oh, yeah, it's gone yeah. slimy. You can see from the water contamination. Slimy. Yeah, and a little bit of rust. Corrosion starting to form there as well. Oh yeah, look how white and milky that is. Oh my there. gosh, look at the strings. Yeah. Man, it's like uh, picking a kid's nose. Ugh. It's gross. <laughs> it smells kind of gross too. All right, so we'll 